Hello everyone. I am so glad that I am finally done with the leaving cert. Auf Wiedersehen, German. Hello, Le Hinch. I'm so glad all that stress is over. No more, no more study. I just have no care in the world. I finished my German exam today, and I have no other tests to worry about. Oh shit. Economics. I, like many others, have that one test left for the leave insert a week later from all my other exams. So I wondered, how much could I reasonably get done in economics in one week? So let's begin by creating a plan and analyzing how am I going to answer this paper. So, the course itself. 20% of it was already made up by the project we did which I definitely didn't leave to the last three days and just get it done in two nights with the help of my teacher. But sure, look, it's done now. The test itself is, wor is worth 80% of the course and it lasts for two and a half hours. So how should you answer the economics paper? Well, if you spend 10 minutes going through at the start, reading the questions carefully, especially the long questions, I know it's very easy to look at the first half of a long question and it might be something you've studied and you're very confident in and then afterwards the second part of it may not be so good so make sure to read it through carefully and highlight what they're asking in the questions then after that the short questions the section one of the course is worth 16 percent of the entire course that's including your project the paper itself it's worth only 20% of that. You're being marked out of your best five. So in theory, if you spend 50 minutes total doing it and you answer one question for every 10 minutes, you should be grand. Although in that 50 minutes, I think you should be able to answer way more than five. But after that 50 minutes is up, you should definitely move on to the long questions. Out of the entire course, the long questions are worth 64% out of in the paper itself it's 80%. You should answer 3 for 90 minutes total. So that's 1 for every 30 minutes. So it's time to break out the notes. I have my nice little folder here. As you can see, I start off with consumer, move on to demand, have my demand curves here. I go through definitions of important stuff as well as explain certain concepts. Here's supply you fixed supply up here, economies of scale, this economies of scale, explaining all of that. Oh wait, I forgot. I stopped doing that two days after going through it. Unfortunately, the notes I do have are from these old books that are for the old course, but they still more or less retain the same amount of information. They just have chapters that we don't do for example, the history of economics and stuff like that. I also have somehow managed to retain a few of the sheets my t teacher gave me. These are very good notes. Unfortunately, over the past two years, <laughs> I didn't keep on to all of them. I think I should start studying now. So basically, today I'm going to study the four t different markets. Perfect competition, imperfect competition, oligopoly and monopoly. Last year, oligopoly came up as one long question with a small bit of other stuff in there. So this year, I have a good feeling they might ask us on another market structure. And besides, it's no harm to know it. Thank you all very much for watching. So I will see you all tomorrow, and I'll keep you updated on the progress I have achieved. Also, in case you're wondering, another reason why I created this video series is to make you hold me accountable for not studying. So make sure to keep do that.